All right. We'll go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Good. Glad to be inside. It's very good. Very windy out there. It's hard to get the, this uh, this big pipe in, in in here. I'm sure it's blowing through the wind there. We're really grateful to have you here, and we continue to. We are very happy to continue to work with all of our local government and our state representatives and our federal representatives. It's really great to see all of these groups combined to do these great projects. I'd like to first introduce Kelsey Krull, representative from Senator Robert Portman's office, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I was going to say that it was a crappy day, but it's actually beautiful outside today. Um, so when I talked to Gino Monaco and Kelly Fry about this uh, project, when they found out they had the funding to do it, I said, are you guys going to do a ribbon cutting or anything like that, some sort of celebration? And uh, Mr. Fry said, well, I'm not sure if we usually do ribbon cuttings for, for a sanitary project. And, but I would love to. I'm so excited about this. So after all this hard work, here we are celebrating the accomplishment of this project getting underway, as I understand, on time and under budget. Um, thanks to the Army Corps of Engineers for working on this high priority project. Um, this is an example of thinking globally and acting locally. So we all know about the algae blooms in Lake Erie. And proper waste water management is vital to the protection of the Great Lakes region. And aging sewers are one of the uh, pervasive threats to the lake. So it's great to see a local community taking action to enhance and update their system. Uh, Senator Portman has been a leading voice in the Senate for the Great Lakes region and has supported legislation on numerous matters, including ending the threat to microbeads and prioritizing research and combating harmful algal blooms. The Great Lakes provide a source of drinking water to more than 40 million people, and the more work we do together to improve wastewater management systems, control invasive species, and clean up our lakefront, then those 40 million people will be able to lean to lead a healthier, happier life. And we are thankful to see local communities and agencies working together to improve the health of the lake. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Kelsey. That was great. If I could uh, please ask Jane Ruffalo from the representative from Congresswoman Marcy Captor's office. Thank you. I will be brief. Um, the Congresswoman asked me to uh, thank the Corps especially for identifying, recognizing this is a priority need in a Great Lakes area that has so many infrastructure needs. It's all about water quality and um, working with the local community. One of the reasons that you were able to identify this as such a good project is because the local Ottawa County officials did such a good job, Gino, and I know Kelly was involved in that, in putting together a, a project proposal of merit. So thank you again. Thank you, Jane. We appreciate you being here. Now, I would now like to introduce Anne Longsworth Orr, the representative from Sherrod Brown's office. Thank you. I'm sorry to turn my back on you. <laughs> um, thanks very much for the opportunity to be here today on behalf of uh, Senator Brown. And I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to keep it very short. Um, this morning, the Army Corps uh, held a press event on a wetlands project that many of us attended um, in the city of Port Clinton. And this afternoon, we're highlighting a project that addresses water quality in a very different but um, equally important way, improving our um, water treatment system. Projects like these are practical ways to make sure that we're serving local residents and doing all we can to keep our waterways and Lake Erie clean. Lake Erie supports entire industries and the jobs they create and provides drinking water for countless communities in the region. The Army Corps of Engineers and Ottawa County uh, investment highlighted today will help Ohio communities continue their work to protect Lake Erie um, and surrounding area. Millions of Ohioans rely on Lake Erie, and we must always be vigilant in protecting one of our states and our nation's most precious resources. So congratulations, and thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. And I'd like to 
have Steve, uh, State Representative Steve Arndt, please. Thank you. This is probably kind of unusual to have a uh, state elected official speaking on behalf of, in front of, uh, uh, with the Army Corps of Engineers. But first off, let me thank the, uh, the Ottawa County Commissioners, and then Gino and Kelly, because this project was not an easy project. It was actually a project I started when I was uh, uh, an Ottawa County Commissioner. And I think this part that's interesting when you think about who all is sitting around in this room and how we all came together to make this project happen. Uh, these projects are never easy to finance, and they're very difficult uh, at times. So it takes the willingness and the partnership of all of us uh, to be able to make these things viable. And I'm thinking about uh, Marcy Captor's office and how we were able to uh, secure a stag grant for another project that was not able to go forward. And so Marcy's uh, office did an amazing job allowing us to hang on to that stag grant and transfer it to this particular project. And I had a chance to talk a little bit with Darcy, uh, Darcy Egan uh, earlier, and I'm thinking back on when I testified on the reauthorization of the Clean Water Act back in 1992. And at that particular time, there was the talk and movement of more moving towards uh, loans as opposed to grants. And I remember another little project called Gypsum's uh, Sewer Project where we took five different funding streams to make a million and a half dollar project financially viable. And I was able to share with Congress that grants sometimes are the only way to be able to make some of these projects uh, affordable for the communities. And I also remember back when we were doing the Port Jacataba Sewer Project, which was a uh, EPA uh, uh, ordered project. And it was one that the Corps of uh, Engineers worked with us very closely with to be able to see that project forward. And so sometimes those of us in government get frustrated with the, uh, the regulations and the challenges and the time frame in which it moves forward. But projects like this, just quite frankly, would never happen if we don't come together to be able to solve these issues. And if you think about just last weekend, in this particular project, whether or not you think this project was needed or not, I can almost guarantee you when you have a foot of water over those septic systems, they probably were not working all that well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I just want to thank everybody for uh, coming together and realizing the benefit and the importance of these kinds of projects and what each agency is able to offer up to make these projects and improvements to the community because they really have lasting value. Uh, and are really truly are appreciated and I just want to thank everybody for not walking away from a difficult project and seeing it through to completion because it will add significant value to the community. Thank you. Thank you Representative Arndt. And now I'd like to introduce the sanitary engineer with Ottawa County Sanitary Engineering Department, Kelly Fry. <laughs> Well, if I thought it was appropriate, I'd jump up and down, because this, like, this is exciting. I mean, we've worked really hard to get to this point, and I could go around and thank everybody personally for being involved. I'm in Port Clinton and the county and all, every, all the agencies, and I have to say that every one of us here is a strong supporter of Lake Erie and strong supporter of good wastewater treatment and all the things that are happening, and I really want to thank the residents. I mean, they've gone through quite a bit. They're going through it now. In fact, I'm sure there's a backhoe in front of somebody's house making all kinds of noise right now. But uh, this is a good example of what happens when everybody comes together. We have a common cause. We take our resources and share them and put them together and create a project that has great worthwhile. And it is really exciting to me because I've, my life practice has been here. And I'm just, when I see a project like this come together, one in which you're, you're working with a community that is short on funding and you're working with a lake that desperately needs it and you're able to contribute and actually make things happen. And I, I really appreciate Steve's comments. I mean, he's been part of this since the beginning and it's all going through my head. I mean, I, I really find it uh, very, very rewarding personally, and I, I must thank everybody. I mean, everybody's been really helpful. The commissioners have been very supportive of us, and that's all good. But I will issue a challenge, but this is just one project. I mean, we have several projects ahead. We have a lake that desperately needs our help, and I think everybody has a part to play in this to, to help make it better. I mean, this is our home, and we want to uh, keep it and welcome everybody that comes to visit. So I mean, we're looking ahead at projects that we can see that help contribute to the cleaning of the lake. And when we finish this one, we're on to another one. So we'll all be back to everyone. Thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, for now, I really do thank, have a, thank you for having the opportunity to speak and thank everybody for their hard work.
Thank you, Kelly. And now I'd like to invite Jim Sass, Ottawa County Commissioner. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Commissioners, welcome to Ottawa County. Um, typically, a, a groundbreaking is for a sewer probably isn't as exciting as maybe a building or a highway or something like that. But I think in the big picture, this is a very, very important project for, for the health of Lake Erie. And I just want to say thank you to Representative Captor's office for the STAG grant. We made, I made many phone calls as far as uh, keeping, keeping that going and keep it available for us. And, and, uh, it, and we made the trip to Columbus and initiate to put this on the, the radar of the Corps. And to the Corps of Engineers, we thank you so much for, for your willingness to realize the importance what, and the impact that this project has for this whole, for this whole region. It's, it's important. The lake is a huge resource. Tourism is an industry in Ottawa County. And we need to keep uh, do whatever we can to continue keeping the lake clean. So I just say thank you, and also to the township Erie Township trustees who contributed for the um, towards the study. I mean, there, you, so you had township, you had the city, you've had the county, you've had the feds involved, the states involved. Everybody comes together, and we were able to accomplish something, which which is pretty neat. So thank you so much for everybody being here, and um, um, you know we'll continue on. We will be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. And now I'd like to invite Lieutenant Colonel Anna Jakinski, our commander at the Buffalo District Army Corps of Engineers. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of, I guess the good news is there's a lot of familiar faces from our earlier session this morning, which means I can't use my material, my joke. So <laughs> I'll get right to the point since I think I'm the only thing to stand between everyone and a ham sandwich for lunch. So <laughs> I'm not sure if everyone's aware or not, but the, the Ohio Environmental Infrastructure Program was first authorized under Section 594 of the Water Resources Development Act of 1999. And the purpose, the purpose of it was to provide design and construction assistance for environmental infrastructure programs for communities across the state of Ohio. And since that time, since, since its inception, Congress has appropriated more than $138 million to the program to provide that design and construction assistance for 160 environmental infrastructure projects in communities across the state, which is really a true testament to the importance of this work that, is, that has been done and continues to be done in these communities. Our district, the Buffalo District for the Army Corps of Engineers, has been fortunate enough to have the, to have the honor to partner with communities throughout Ohio's Lake Erie watershed on 50 of these projects, totaling more than $34 million. And since, since I joined the district almost two years ago, uh, I've been fortunate to make it out to, to three of these communities, to Limaville, to Parma, and now here in Ottawa County, uh, to see the impacts, the positive impacts that these projects really do have on the local communities. As most of you know, this project's gonna provide 173 homes uh, in Erie Township with sanitary sewer service, which in the end will serve to improve both the quality of life for residents, but also very importantly, the water quality in Lake Erie. It is, it's very representative. If you look at the program, if you look at the Ohio Environmental Infrastructure Program, it, this, this project is very representative of that, pro, of that program. Implementation of projects that protect our environment, but also that help the citizens of the state of Ohio. And uh, as has been mentioned by previous, previous speakers, uh, you know, any project, any good project, any great project really requ requires a great team. And we've been fortunate enough to work with a great team on this project. And I really want to recognize you know, the Ottawa County Sanitary Engineering Department, especially Kelly and, and Gino, uh, really appreciate the great cooperation. We don't always have that on um, projects, but, but I think if you look at any project that's a success, go to that, that great teamwork, but also the importance of strong local leadership. Uh, and we have it here. So thank you very much you know, for the county level. I appreciate the support from the state level as well, and also appreciate the county commissioners' the support, and also, as always, you know the the continued active advocacy and support, you know, from our congressional delegation, you know, from Senator from Senator Brown, from Senator Portman, from Congresswoman Capture. We're always very appreciative of that. I will say that you know this this is a, a great news story, uh, and, and appreciate the great comments directed towards the core. I will say, and this is the one piece of recycled material from this morning, the core has actually been here in Ottawa County since 1872. So in 1872, we first dredged uh, the entrance to the Portage River 
and uh, constructed a thousand feet of timber revetments on the north side of that entrance channel. So we've been around for quite a while. You know, and this project here is just a continuation of our service to the local community, and uh, and we really look forward to the continued partnership with Ottawa County. You know, first and foremost to, ins to ensure successful project completion, and then ultimately to improved water quality in the Western Lake Erie Basin. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Chikhinski. Just a last note, uh, it's a great opportunity when different organizations get together like this because they can share this information and get other communities excited. So we do encourage you to check out our Facebook page and our Twitter accounts, and we'd, we'd be happy to share this type of uh, event with you, and please share your events with us. Now this is going to conclude the, uh, the speaking portion, but we are going to do the signing of the pipe at this time. So if all of our representatives and stakeholders would like to come up and sign the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> 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 Representatives and stakeholders stand right behind the sign. We'll do a group photo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Gino and Kelly should be in here. Oh, yeah. 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 Gino and Kelly. That's great. That's a great picture. Everybody smiles. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, you all. Did you want to get up? You good? Good. good. <laughs> all right. That okay. concludes our All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very much appreciate it.